This is going to be a seven a seven string, fairly raunchy guitar, fitted with a Carla Tram, two EMG humbuckers, uh, eight uh, seven string humbuckers, and that's going to be quite an interesting project. Uh, we might as well talk about woods here at the moment. This one is stripy maple, flamed maple, fiddleback maple, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it has this grain pattern. This is one piece of wood cut in half and opened up like a book. So it's book matched. Glue line down the middle. It's not been cleaned off yet, you can see. Uh, it's just been glued up. Here's the, the back part of it. This is mahogany, this is Brazilian mahogany. It's nice and light. If I was to make the whole body out of that maple, it would be too heavy. The guy would really struggle. Last time we saw this, it was in two pieces. The slab has been glued up ready for the body. You've got a nice flame maple on the top, some nice Brazilian mahogany on the back. That's all glued up as a slab. It's been book matched, so we've got the, um, the flaming running nicely matched up. Uh, since I've done that, put that way, I've done a bit more drawing, laid out the guitar. Um, Basically what you've got to do is you've got to get the whole balance of the thing correct. This is a completely new guitar. I've never made it before. Um, I don't know what it's loosely based on. <laughs> um, basically it's a seven string guitar. I've not built one before so it's that's some new uh, things I've got to work out. It's having a, a Carla Trem. I've been waiting for this to arrive just to get the dimensions so I can get the cut out right. It's having seven string EMG pickups now what I do is to get the body shapes accurate you need to come up with a decent template um, this this has been designed based around a 25 and a half inch scale the 25 and a half inch is from the bridge saddle to the nut 25 and a half inch is used really because it's a very popular scale. You get 25 inch scales which PRS use, Gibson use 24 and 5 eighths. Classical guitars use 600 mil. Um, but this is probably 25 and a half inch is going to give a good comfortable playing action with this gauge of strings, keeping in mind that we've got a lower B string as well. Now this guy is not going to be using it at normal concert pitch. He tunes down like a lot of players do nowadays. So this, rather than being tuned in E, could be down at C. So the tension on this is going to be uh, very, very loose. But that's the sort of style that uh, the guy plays. The Talking about scales, um, the scaling of this is basically a, a thing that was worked out hundreds of years ago the bridge uh, so, sorry the nut and the bridge are basically the points where the string stops and everything in between obviously is calculated so that you get the correct notes the 12th fret is obviously the octave point we can talk about scales and intonation and fret positions at some other date because it's quite a big subject um, but anyway we'll get on with building this the next stage from here is to transfer that shape onto the block, get the centre lines lined up, draw around it and then we'll actually cut that slab out on the bandsaw. After the bandsaw we'll route the edges and route these out. So let's go and have a go. So we want to line up the centre lines. The centre line in this case is where the two woods join. Because guitars are such an odd shape, the centre line is quite an important thing because it's the only datum that you've got on the piece of wood. You know, once you've cut this out, you're, you're going to struggle finding the centre line. So this template is basically used as the gospel all the way through the process of building it.
This is a, a half inch a bandsaw. It's not really an industrial saw. And I think this blade probably has seen better days. But it's good enough for just roughing the body out. The real finish will come off the, the router. So we'll get the rough shape on the bandsaw. Have a guitar.